Ladies and gentlemen, live from the famous Acme Comedy Theater in Hollywood, it's Acme Saturday Night. Starring Leif Gantbort, Nick Greco, Porter Kelly. Bill Kessler, Jen Parker. Tony Rego and Billy Viegas. Featuring Curtis Freisel. Musical guest, Genghis Tanjab. And our co-host tonight, Molly Burnett and Mark Hepka. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Molly Barnett and Mark Hapka.
No. Um, <laughs> I wanted it to be tender and full of love. <laughs> chips are great. They're natural, too. Is there something behind me? Yes. Behind you. On the counter. Yes. Cupcakes. I don't feel so fresh. That's why I use soap. They're all gone. Of course, I'll help you change this light bulb. I'll be back. <laughs> the light bulb's been changed. I feel so good. I have a lot of symptoms. Medicine is designed to go right to the source of your symptoms to make them stop. Thanks, medicine.
You want to play the penis game? <laughs> the what? You know, the penis game. I say penis, then you say penis a little louder, then I say it a little bit louder, then we keep going until one of us gets too embarrassed and gives up. That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> you want to play? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> penis. 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 Are you guys playing the penis game without me? Yes. Want to play? Penis. 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 smoothly, guys. I uh, have to commend you. I'm very proud of the both of you. It's, I know that seldom do divorcing couples go through this process with such grace. No, I mean, um, there's really no reason to be childish. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can, we can be adults about this. We can... I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. Good, 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 good. All right, so we just have two more items left on the list of property. And uh, it looks as if you both claimed ownership. So I'm talking about <clears throat> season one and two box sets of True Blood. <laughs> you fucking whore! I knew you were pulling shit. Are you I shitting you me? You know shit. you don't go damn it well those box sets bother me. Oh, fuck you. Fuck oh, you! Oh. Why don't you just rip off my guts and feed on my entrails? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Right, right, right. Let's, right. Let's not get too right. far. Let's not go too far. So, Brandon, pick up your chair. Uh, and, 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 and Jane, just have a seat. Have a seat. Let's not get too emotional or gruesome. <laughs> Let's remember, this is just a TV show. Whoa! It's, it's true blood. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Yes. Let's. Sit. 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 Now, I know that you uh, <clears throat> purchased. These DVDs while married? Yes, we did, we did, we did, but they're rightfully mine. I knew you were gonna pull the shit. You never 
understood us. Are you serious? That is a fucking lie. That is a fucking lie. Nobody understands that show more than I do. Nobody has a deeper, just soulful connection to that movie, an honest connection than I do. Are you fucking He said all vampires are pussies. Oh, because they are. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all right. Let's... Hey, please, please. Let's keep this professional and not besmirch the reputation of vampires. <laughs> Hopeless fame banger. Okay. Whoa! But I do believe that was an insult. Let's not do insults here. Let's come on. All right, come on back. Come on. This is so unfair. This is so unfair. You know what kind of a fan I am of Anna Paquin. You know the connection <laughs> That I have. right there proves that you shouldn't even own the box sets because anybody who knows anything about vampires knows that Eric Northman is the one that makes the fucking show. <laughs> well, here's something you should know. Yeah? Yeah. Which ready? I know. Ready. The past year that we've been having sex, I've been picturing Suki the whole time. Oh! Oh! Take season two. Thank you for helping. 
helping us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Now, Acme Comedy presents Almost a Porn. The cable seems to be out. My husband's not home and won't be back for hours. I need a man's touch. Just point me to your box and I'll start working on it. Hard. Oh, it's right there. Oh, yeah, there's your problem. Cables are all mixed up in the back. All right, you should be all set now. Oh, great! Yeah, it's just a uh, sign here, initial here. Okay. Oh, great. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. That was almost a porn. Yeah. 
presents almost a porn. I got a big meaty pizza for you. Ooh, that sounds delicious, but I didn't order a pizza. You didn't order a big sausage pizza? No. Is 142 Ryerson Drive? Oh, no, no, this is 124. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> no, okay, you, how we did that? <laughs> Damn, almost a porn.
I love you more than cookies love milk. I love you more than caterpillars love making soup. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, that, that was beautiful. But, Who no, won? Oh, God! Near him, near him. I'm your best friend. Um, I, I think you're both winners. You're both winners. Now, do you think that Simon Cowell leaves in the middle of American Idol? No, but I think he wants to. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fine. Like, you guys, I've been be at work fun. all day doing stuff, and oh, please don't touch my hair. I have a, I have a headache, so I'm just gonna, I'm just oh, gonna no, cry. You have a headache? Are you okay? Yes. Tylenol, maybe oh. ibuprofen. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. No. <laughs> okay, well, just, okay. I'm gonna need. Yeah. Quiet round. Perfect. Quiet round. We'll do Whisper. quiet round. Okay. <laughs> I love you more than a stupid kiss. I love you more than a depressed guy wants to slit his wrist. Oh my god, it's so funny. Uh, I'm sorry, the whispery singing is actually even creepier than the singing behind the violin. So, I mean, oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. We need to have like a tiebreaker. side of the room. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I forgot. It's like this 
room is a black hole of memories or something. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> I can't read it, can you? No. These sweaty hands. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to jog my memory. Maybe is it working? Can't. No. But I know as soon as I step through this magic door, it's going to pop back into my head. Why don't you shout it to me while you're out there? <clears throat> that's a good idea. Hey. That's it. That's, it. that's how I'm going to... Not have been that important, right? I mean, obviously not, or else I'd, I'd freaking remember. It can't be important at all. Okay, it's gotta be goddamn important because I know it's bugging me. God, Lord Jesus Christ, Virgin Mary, somebody give me a sign! <laughs> There's gotta be a clue in here somewhere, right? I mean, why do I usually come in this room? Hmm? Hmm? It's. it's Hey, Don't talk to me, I need to focus! <laughs> okay, it's starting to come to me. Yes, yes! I know what it is now! I know what it is! Hey! Shit. Okay, no, no, no. Check it out. Your mom called, she's getting a divorce, your grandfather just had a stroke, you ran over your dog, but it's okay, don't worry, the dog's front legs still work. <laughs> Fuck! Why didn't she just call my cell? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> By the way, did she turn to take out the trash? That hallway stinks. <laughs>
You're gonna kill her. <laughs> Thanks a lot, jerks. Um, every one of you, every one of you has fairy blood on your hands. I hope you realize <laughs> that. <laughs> Oh my god, we're losing her! What's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? She has a combination of SARS, bird flu, tuberculosis, and she's going into renal failure! Nothing that couldn't be instantly cured if these assholes would just believe. <laughs> well, she wouldn't. She would be in incredible pain right now, but thankfully she lost consciousness. Oh, no, she's waking up. Oh my god. <laughs> From the Acme News World Headquarters in Hollywood, this is the Acme Saturday Night News with your host, Dan Kane. All right, here we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Acme Saturday Night News. I'm Dan Kane. Our top story tonight, 
Iran has released Sarah Showard, one of the American hikers taken captive over a year ago. Iranian President Ahmadinejad said the hiker was released because of her gender, saying, because of our Iranian culture and our Islamic culture, we have a very special respect for women. He said that with that grin on his face. <laughs> really? Is that what you call it? Asked if she would stick to a safer territory in the future, Shord said, absolutely. And then she immediately hiked off to go backpacking through the Gaza Strip. <laughs> a U.S. warship off the Arctic coast was repeatedly buzzed by a low-flying Russian military jet. The Russian pilot's antics failed to provoke a reaction from the U.S. ship's commander, who said, once we determined the jet wasn't Chinese, Vietnamese, Cambodian, North Korean, Iranian, al qaeda Jordanian, Palestinian, Syrian, <laughs> Lebanese, Libyan, Nigerian, Somali, Yemeni, Iraqi, Afghani, Pakistani, Uzbeki, Turkmeni, Kazakhstani, Cuban, Colombian, Guatemalan, Honduran, Nicaraguan, Venezuelan, or West Virginian. We figured the threat was minimal. Thank you very much. The Russian pilot said he was just missing the good old days when it was them and us. In Afghanistan, it's election time again, and one of the most controversial items on the ballot is Afghani Prop 8, which would ban same-sex marriages to 13-year-olds. All other marriages to 13-year-olds would, of course, be still allowed. Like, I'm speaking, then I'm not speaking the truth. All right. In U.S. political news, President Obama did absolutely nothing interesting this week. <laughs> Trust me, I checked. That's why we had to lead with three international stories. In, in, in entertainment news, the MTV Video Music Awards were held last Sunday, and Taylor Swift sang a ballad of forgiveness that she wrote specifically for Kanye West. But halfway through the ballad, Kanye, Kanye grabbed the mic again and said, I'm going to let you finish, but first I just want to say, Beyonce is the best at forgiveness ballads. <laughs> Taylor has already promised a new forgiveness, forgiveness ballad next year. <laughs> also at the VMA Awards, Lady Gaga generated controversy with her meat dress. Yes, she actually wore a dress made partly of raw meat. Here to tell us more about it is Lady Gaga herself. Hello, Lady Gaga. Hello, Dan. You always know how to make an entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the meat dress you wore at the VMAs. Uh, why didn't you wear that dress tonight? It's been overrun by bugs and creepy crawlies, Dan. Oh. However, I did bring you this burger made from the dress. It tastes like insect pupa and sweat, but other than that, it should be quite good. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, well, you know, PETA was in an uproar about the dress. In fact, they criticized the dress saying after time spent under the TV lights, kind of like right now, it would smell like the rotting flesh that it is and likely be crawling with maggots. Well, they were certainly right about that, Dan. By the end of the night, I smelled like a bovine concentration camp. Oh, boy. I see. Uh, so, Gaga, tell us, why did you wear the meat dress in the first place? It was certainly not to disrespect anyone vegan or vegetarian. It was uh. simply a statement on gays in the military and the antiquated don't ask, don't tell law, Dan. How so? It's like this, Dan. If we don't stand up for our rights and what we believe in, we have about as much rights as the meat on our bones. Aha, uh -huh. that, that doesn't really make any sense. Might, <laughs> might work better set to music, though. Damn, um. meat is like ruby, satin, heartbeat, scar tain, stained glass, colored dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for you to say. Okay, well, uh, did the dress, uh, I mean, what did the dress have to do with gays in the military? Gays eat meat too, Dan. <laughs> they eat meat too. Rub that glitter and grease so brown. Rub that glitter and grease so brown. Rub that okay. glitter Okay, Lady Gaga, brown. everybody. <laughs> Thank you.
have this for after the show. <laughs> All right. After being arrested for felony drug possession a couple of weeks ago, Paris Hilton has worked out a misdemeanor plea deal and will avoid jail time completely. You bitch, what's your secret, said Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Sixteen-year-old pop star Justin Bieber recently posed in Elle magazine with 30-year-old Kim Kardashian in a shoot that was themed from the film The Graduate. Here to tell us more is the pop star himself, Justin Bieber. Yeah. Hi, Justin. Hey, yo, Dan, what's up? <laughs> hey, Justin, how's it going? Things are good, Dan. I can't complain. Uh-huh. Yeah, so uh, what's the deal with uh, you and Kim Kardashian? Uh, you know, there's no deal. At least not until I'm a, a 18, right? Officially? Yeah, of course. Uh, so you're saying there, there is something going on, or...? Having a little trouble hearing you there, uh, Bieber. You, you all right there? <laughs> I can't do this anymore! I can't, Dan, I just can't. Uh, Porter, what, what are you doing right in the middle of a bit here? Uh, no, you know what? I can't make fun of him anymore. I mean, he's so adorable, and his music is awesome. It is? Okay, Porter, just, just calm down. Uh, You're all just jealous! <laughs> oh my god, Dan. I just realized what this is. I'm experiencing Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome? You mean like when hostages start to have sympathy for their captors? Yes! I am a hostage, and Justin friggin' Bieber is a little mop-headed terrorist! He's screwing with my mind! I, I, I really don't think Justin Bieber is a hostage taker. Okay. I mean, oh, Dan, I've been giving his songs thumbs up every time they come up on my Pandora. I mean, how did he even get on the playlist for my classic rock station? Wow. All right, I'm sorry, Port. I didn't realize doing this character was taking such a toll on you in, in, in such a big way. I, I My agree. boobs hurt from strapping them down, Dan. I can't take it anymore. Somebody needs to take the wig. Take the wig. No! 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 It's like baby, baby, baby. Oh. Porter oh Kelly is just a beaver. Everybody. Don't worry, we are going to get her some help. <laughs> Next, in an Acme News op-ed piece, we have with us our own reporter, Tony Rigo. Hi, Tony. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dan. I realize you have some thoughts you want to share about driving safety that you felt was important to pass along to our viewers. I do. Uh, being a Los Angeles driver, I have abpole opportunity to see my fellow Los Angelinos and their mm -hmm. driving habits. And I thought it was important to come here and say, you all fucking suck. Oh. Uh, you know, Tony, maybe you could phrase that a little more uh, diplomatically. I mean, uh, you know, give us some, some actual examples. Nope, I can't say it any better than that. You suck. <laughs> LA drivers are the shit pile of car drivers. But if you want reasons, oh, I've got them. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid First to off, what is with the growing trend of stopping at a stoplight and leaving like one or two car lengths of empty space in front of you? All right, now that is ridiculous. Is there like some rash of rear end bumping that results in forward car bumping? Or is it, as I likely suspect, it's that you guys want this I'm so self-important space around you so you don't get the dirty smell of the Hyundai in front of you on your BMW? Uh, well, you know, actually, Tony, I think that might be just defensive driving. I mean, it's a good normal technique, right? Yeah, it's the technique used by douchebags. <laughs> And by that, I mean Lexus drivers. Oh. Okay. If you're out there, cover your face in shame, because I am sick of Lexus drivers, these snooty, oh-so-precious, slow-driving Lexus drivers who drive like my 95-year-old coma-induced grandmother just because they're afraid to scratch the damn car they can't afford in the first place. Uh, Tony, you, you realize an op-ed piece is uh, supposed to be informative, not just a form for you to, you know, vent your personal anger, right? Tell that to Andy Rooney. You're... Tony, I'm sorry, you're, you're no Andy Rooney. That's, That's right, because I have a pair, and I use them to drive. Which doesn't mean I put my balls on my steering wheel, it just means 
that I know how to get somewhere fast. And I recommend all of you grow some testicles right here, right now, and drive. Thank you, Tony Rago. Fuck off. Good luck. <laughs> Send your letters to Saturday Night Live, care of Rockefeller Center. <laughs> all right. And finally tonight, CBS aired the final episode yesterday of As the World Turns, a soap that debuted in 1956 and touched the lives of generations of viewers. The only thing more amazing than its 54-year run is the fact that anyone thought it could really compete in a time slot against NBC's Days of Our Lives. And good news, Good news, scientists say there's enough sand in that hourglass to run through at least through the year 2080. <laughs> That's it for this edition of the Acme News. I'm still Dan Kane. Nothing wrong here. 
And you call the cops. I'm, I'm, you call the cops. I'm perfectly confident. That's, there's you nothing the in that. I swear to back porch, the there's the nothing. I'll prove it. <laughs> prove it. Okay. See, no big. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. Come on, dude. I'm not messing around. We need to figure this out. Dude, there's nothing in the box. Except for a nest of black widows. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Shit. Eight, two, eight. 
Eight, repeat that back to me. Eight, two, eight. Five, repeat that back to me. Eight, two, eight, eight, five. Five, repeat that back to me. Eight, two, eight, eight, five, five. You got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hold on, Sean. <laughs> I know I have it right. I mean, I heard you. Right. But I just don't feel so confident about it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to give you my area code anyway. Oh, I'm going to just erase everything I just yeah. had. Let's start. <laughs> so with the area code, it's three. Repeat that back to me. Three. One, repeat that back to me. One. No, no, when I, you repeat okay, that yeah. back to me. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just before you, you go on any farther, can I just tell you real quick? Jesus Christ, Sean, what is it? What couldn't wait? Well, I just wanted to let you know I reset the password to the wireless internet. <laughs> Great, what is it? Okay, it's 2634 chicken teriyaki asterisk ampersand dollar sign 897. Great, thanks, Sean. Cool. Thank you. Uh, you, you guys don't want to write that down? I mean, I feel a little bit better if you. Dude. Fuck off, we have it. <laughs> yeah, you sure? Really? 2634 chicken teriyaki asterisk ampersand dollar sign 897. So anyway. <laughs> three, repeat that back to me. So it's three. One, repeat that back to me. One. No, no, start from the beginning. Yeah, three. three repeat that back to me. Three. One, repeat that back to me. Three, one. Zero, repeat that back to me. Now Acme Comedy presents Real Weird Laws of Alaska. Oh, Sir, can I ask you what you're doing? Uh, yeah, I'm just looking at the moose. <sighs> well, looking at a moose out of an airplane is illegal in the state of Alaska. You can look at the trees. You can look at the snow. But you cannot look at the moose. You're going to jail. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I'm so excited to meet Mindy's friends. Yeah, I hope they're a positive influence on her. You know, okay, let's she... try to stay positive. Don't get started. Okay, right. I'm just saying. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. <gasps> Speak of the devil. <laughs> side of a bridge ready to, you know, and, uh, and then we got hungry. <laughs> so we went to get something to eat instead. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to that bridge right now. Right? Right fucking now. Right? <laughs> I'm going to go check on the meatloaf. Oh. Okay. So, um, Diana, Jake, tell me a little about yourself. Yeah, well, we're alive, so, you know, already it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently last week I was told I had meningitis, but apparently I fucking don't, so... <laughs>
plays in the background. <laughs> Sometimes we play a game where we can see who can put their hand on the stove for the longest period of time. <laughs> you know, while Tori almost plays in the background. <laughs> Sometimes we uh, go to other people's funerals and wish they were ours. Tori <laughs> <laughs> almost plays in the background. I get it. Yeah, got it. <laughs> It's it's seven thirty. Fuck! <laughs> Only seven thirty? When will this life be over? <laughs> I wonder what's keeping Darren. Darren! <laughs> Sorry, I was in the other room, the kitchen. <laughs> Do you ever try and sleep so hard that you just don't fucking wake up? Yes. yes. No. Do you guys ever read other people's, uh, people's obituaries and just like wish they were about you? Oh, yes. No. Yeah. No. no. You ever just try to exhale life? Yes. Yeah. Why don't we just watch some TV, huh? Yes. What do you say? We got movies about genocide. Oh. Or maybe apartheid. Did you read? Good one. No. Um, why don't we just sit here quietly? And I find it kind of funny. <laughs> I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best. Okay, that's enough, Mindy. Okay, I am glad that you found some friends that are as dark and depressing as you are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, hold the phones. We are not depressed. We're realists, man. Dark is the color of life, Alana. There are too many lights in here anyways. I saw a morgue. I'm sure I roll out. But I want the meatloaf. I don't care. There's a morgue on the way. We can pretend like we're dead. <laughs> well, we can listen to Tori Amos. Amos. Yeah. In the background. Yes. Good. <laughs> and I wonder if the cow knew that his sentence on life was almost up on this earth on his way to the conveyor belt. Demise. Lucky cow! <laughs> <laughs> Acme County presents Real Weird Laws of Tennessee. Hello, sir. It's Sunday, and I'd like to purchase this package of bologna. Will that be all for you? No. That will be all for you. Because purchasing bologna on Sunday in Tennessee is illegal. You just distributed an illegal substance. Bologna on Sunday. It's illegal. You're going to jail.
Gentlemen, Genghis Khan job. Once again, Acme Comedy presents Real Weird Laws of Wisconsin. Did you just ask your house to marry you? Well, you're not going to jail, because that's perfectly legal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's right, because it's legal to marry your house in the state of Wisconsin. You can marry your house in the state of Wisconsin. Marry your house. Wisconsin. Let's all go to Wisconsin. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us at the famous Acme Comedy Theater in Hollywood for Acme Saturday Night. Special thanks to our co-hosts, Molly Burnett and Mark Hepka. And musical guest, Genghis Kanja.